Dear Life Turf members, I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I, myself, and the church board just want to express our deep appreciation to you. You are a valuable, precious, and appreciated member of Life Tabernacle. We want to thank you for your prayers, your care, and your support. And throughout this COVID-19, we want to remain connected, communicating, and corresponding. Uh, our church, we're going to be stronger. Our church is going to be better and our church is going to be greater because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Once again, thank you. We appreciate you. Praise the Lord. I found it a great privilege to be a part of the family of God and to say that we are now living in exciting times. The church is moving on from strength to strength. And it's a good thing to be known as a member of the family of God and this, to, to be excited about what is taking place. God is coming soon and we should be more being ready to receive him in Jesus' name. Good evening. I thank you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for what you have been doing and you are still doing, especially at this time of COVID-19. COVID when this uh, pandemic hit the church and the church was closed temporarily, those who are, in the, who are not in the Lord thought that that would be the end of the church. And I must also say that even believers had some, their own doubts but I can say without fear of contradiction that because God is with us and because of the tenacity of uh, the leadership, we are still soldiering on. I want to encourage you at this time that you should keep on, keep the flag flying. And um, for as long as we keep the flag flying, the church will do more exploits. Thank you for what you are doing. And thank you for this moment. God bless you all. God bless you all. It's really been missing you all, and I'm just hoping that you all keep them well. Um, as I was actually thinking today, in the garden, I see the birds and, and the bees and the butterflies, and they don't worry about anything because God provides. And I know our Heavenly Father will provide for you. Some of you might be struggling, but just depend upon the Lord Jesus Christ. He's able to keep you and protect you and i just thank the lord for you missing you all see you very soon god bless you god is good all the time and i give my thanks for our leadership for our dear pastor and his family and for everyone that's faithful to the lord and even though we're not meeting as we ought to meet but we are here in one spirit and one accord as we keep our eyes on jesus and we look full into his wonderful face the things of this world will grow strength to them in the light of his glory and grace. And God is so good. You know, just be encouraged. Just keep the faith. Keep strong in the Lord. Just stand upon the authority of the word, his word. For his word never fails. And he will lead us through to the end of all times. God is faithful to his word. And he'll bring us to the end in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, Church. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope everyone is well. Hope everyone is blessed, strengthened, refreshed, and renewed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray that the fire, that the fire of the Holy Ghost keep burning in your hearts as we wait upon the Lord. Stay blessed. Stay focused on the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith. God bless you all. Praise the Lord, everyone. God is doing such a wonderful thing at this time. And it's amazing just to see how gifts have been developing during our uh, different sessions that we're having. And when you think we're sitting still in the presence of the Lord at this moment, it is for a purpose because we are God-given people with a purpose to serve the Lord and to become more and more like him. And it's amazing just to see the glory of the Lord in our lives and in Are each God? and every one of our members and to God be the glory. Keep safe until we get together. What a great day of celebration that will be. May the Lord bless you all. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the
back with you all in Jerusalem. I do miss your church family, and I'm sure you are as well. As we go through the very difficult times, I will show you a verse that is giving me strength. Um, it's Micah 7 verse 7, and it says, But as for me, I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior. My God will hear me. As we continue to trust in God, wait in hope, and focus on our relationship with Him in prayer, let's remember that God will hear our cry. Uh, praise the Lord, saints of God. Uh, it is with great delight on behalf of the church that I am greeted the saints in time. We want to thank you very much for your faithfulness and for your followership. Even at, at this difficult time, many of you have remained so steadfast in your giving, in your prayer, in your fasting. Remember that the wonderful work you're doing, the Lord will reward you because it is someone who is a God who what those who seek Him diligently. I know you are seeking diligently. I am missing you all. But every now and again, we do connect in our various prayer sessions, in our various midweek services, and also during our Sunday services. You guys are doing a great job. Continue to hold fast to your faith. I know for sure that the Lord is coming very soon. What is going on is the sign of the end. God is not caught unaware of this. He knows exactly why this season we're going through, why we're going through this season. He is the reason for this season. Stay blessed, my brother. Stay blessed, my sister. Stay blessed, the younger people of the church. God will bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you, everyone. <laughs> Such a privilege to join and make a greeting for everyone at this time. Amen. We give God thanks for his faithfulness and for being on the throne throughout it all. A verse of scripture that's been a blessing to me and I believe to so many uh, in this time is that found in Psalms chapter 30 verse 5 where it simply reminds us of the promise that we can claim from God's word even in a time like this. It simply says, For weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And I thank God for a church that, you know, we could have all been part of and connect with one another unlike ever before. And perhaps we can also, you know, stand united and say, even though we went through our night, even though we went through some weeping, you know, and uh, some difficulty, we can surely say that God has been our strength. He's been with us. He's given us brothers and sisters, amen, that we could have come together with and pray with and truly seek the face of God. And I pray, you know, as the church rises up, you know, not only in times like this, but also for the future, for us to realize, you know, that God has called us for such a time as this to make a difference. And you and everyone that is part of Life Tabernacle has been making a difference in the lives of so many, your community, your neighborhood, even your family members, and continue to allow the light of God to shine through your life, not only at this time, but also in the morning. And we thank God for that joy that is given all of us. God bless you. God bless you, everyone, families and friends. I greet you in the present name of Jesus Christ. It's great to know today that we have a good God with us. It's no matter any situation is going through. We know that Jesus Christ is with us. We are safe because we are in God's hands. Also, we need to remember that we need to be safe at home, respect all the authorities, the government, because they are working hard to save our life. Also, we need to stay at home, enjoy with the family, enjoy with all day, every day, and pray, fasting, read the Bible, because this is a good time, this is a special time. It's not any time we have another time. This is a special time God give us. Enjoy. God bless you. Dios les bendiga, hermanos en Jesucristo, familia y amigos. Les saludo en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. 
y para recordarles una vez más en este día de que tenemos un Dios muy bueno con nosotros, que todo lo puede, no hay nada imposible para Él, no importa los momentos difíciles, situaciones que estamos cruzando, Él está con nosotros y su misericordia aún está vigente. Él nos dice también que nos sometamos a las autoridades, a los gobernantes, que respetemos las leyes porque ellas cuidarán de nosotros. Gocémonos en estos momentos en la presencia de Dios, en nuestros hogares buscando la presencia de Dios en la lectura de la palabra, en oración, en ayuno y disfrutemos de este tiempo maravilloso que Dios nos ha dado. Dios les bendiga. Greetings and uh, hello to Life Tabernacle Church from uh, myself, Brother Banton, and my wife. Uh, we thank God for you, and even in this unusual time, we are grateful, amen, that we are still having superb church, we are having superb prayer, and we are still having superb fellowship because of the grace of God in our life. And it is important for us to remember that even though things around us have changed, we are promised in the scriptures that our God never changes. He is always the same. And I am so glad that we serve a God who can call morn, noon, and night for our needs. So as we pray together and as we uh, just love the Lord, I pray God's richest blessing on your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, we want all of our members to stay safe. Bless you, in Jesus' name.